Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening guys, how are you? Okay. Let's see if you're here, Marcella. All right, everybody coming in. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Marcella, how are you? Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Hey, hello, Walter. Good. Thank you, Rochella. Hello, everybody. Hello, Alan. Okay, good. Tatiana is here. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. Hello, Anna. teacher. <laughs> Hi, Tati. How are you? Fine, thank you. All right, great. <laughs> Celebrating that today is Friday. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the end of the week, right? The weekend. The weekend for tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> so we have how many? Well, we have 14 people. Okay. Let's get started because we have a little work. Okay. Yes, here we are. Okay, yesterday we were talking about the special occasions, right? Okay, I Better. Okay, and today, okay, today we have some, we're going to start with some reading. Okay, and some vocabulary. By the end. Okay, good. By the end of this, of this class, you will develop a skill in scanning and reading for the types of reading and um, article about birthday celebrations in different countries. Yes, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to have this reading and we are going to practice two, two abilities, two skills, right? Which is a scanning, look for or search for information, right? And also, paying attention to details. Okay, when we read, we try to find a specific information. Okay, and we pay attention to details about the reading. Okay, vocabulary, expressions, ideas, okay. Anything that will help remember at the end of the reading to answer questions. Okay, here we have in the reading first, pay attention to the pronunciation. Okay. And listen, we're gonna listen to it two times. Well, first, the first time and then we see the vocabulary. Develop skills in scanning and reading details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. 
What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Jing Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give them? A red hat in a vest. Philippe Jolie. Yes. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. I don't, okay, then in the WhatsApp group, you have the same reading. Okay, now we're going to listen again. This class has developed skills in scanning and reading pictures by reading an article about birthday celebrations in other countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura. The first one. Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay, good. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Se entiende muy bien lo que está aquí? No problem? No hay preguntas de vocabulario, algo que no les quede claro. I don't, I don't see. You don't see it. Ahí se los acaba de mandar el WhatsApp para que lo oh, puedan okay. expandir un poquito por si quieren verlo mejor. Y yo así lo tengo acá, le tomé una foto también okay. porque lo miraba muy, muy chico. Ok, so here, I got it here. Entonces, este, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. If you have questions about vocabulary, expressions, that's my 21st birthday on, yes, on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some sure, sure. Yes, Alan. What's, what's mean there in Elena Buenaventura? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull on my ear, my ear 20 times once for each year. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a old custom. It's an old tradition. Pull on my ear. Pull my ear. Pull my ear. Look at me. Look at me. Pull my ear. Alar la oreja. Okay. Pull my ear. Acá en El Salvador se acostumbra la manteada, right? Then uh, in this country, on this lady is the uh, the ear. Una vez por cada por cada año, right? Okay, good. Next, eh, escuchemos el siguiente. Yen Jing Shi. Yen Jing Shi. Tomorrow is my sixteenth birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay. Miss. That's 
Jiangxing Shi. Okay, Taipei. Questions? No? Okay. Que right. es nudos, nudos, teacher. Nudos, nudos. Son los, eh, los que videos. te hacen en la sopa, ajá, los a fideos, exacto, ok. Son los nudos. Una sopa de fideos. Ahí. Ah, ok. Como que vienen como que son colochos. Te uh -huh. And you make the soup. Mm -hmm. Noodle soup. Sopa de fideos, right? Mm -hmm. Ok. Now, the third one. Mr. and Mrs. Hockey Shadow. Why be quiet? Why? Hello? Hello? Who asked you? I get from the Nobody? No. Okay. This is ours. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give them? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie. Okay, no problem with Mr. and Mrs. Aoki Kyoto. Okay, Philippe, Philippe Jolie. Yes. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. Why? In some Why? I know it's the opposite. Why? People take you out. Okay, good. Invite people out. In some countries... Okay, those are the four... Uh, like I said, uh, readings about birthday. Okay, now we are going to to see the next one. Here, knowledge check. Okay, and now let me see, uh, Alejandro. Alejandro, say, can you read the instructions here? Read the article. The answers and uh, whether the sentences presented in each article is true or false. It's true or false. Okay. Uh, aquí creo que se ve mejor, ¿verdad? Que en el otro. Yes? Bien. Sí. Yes, huh? <laughs> Aquí sí, ¿verdad? ¿eh? All right. Sí, ahí se ve bien. Yes. Now, good. Good. Yes. Okay, good. Now, eh, then, eh, un volunteer. Si quiera leer. One volunteer. Okay, Vladimir, go ahead. My turn. Me? My 21st birthday. Elen Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. And... And, and I can I go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. So some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay, right? Quiet. To be quiet, cat. Quiet. Uh huh. Which one? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia después de donde dice going to pull? To pull. Pull. Going to pull. Pull. pull on my ear. They're going to pull on my ear. Mm -hmm. mm. Hold on. One time. Teacher, 
Niño, ¿qué está haciendo? Ok, wait a minute. ¿Qué está haciendo? Ok. Here. Now, what is it? Yes, uh, Nancy, right? You want to read, but wait a minute. Uh, sure. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends right. are going to pull her ear. 21 times. Friends oh. are going to pull her ear, ear 21 times. True. 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 All right. Now we eliminate Elena. 16th birthday. And then we go it's to. A special birthday. Yeah, so okay. we're uh, going. So we're gonna have a family. Okay. Good. Ceremony. Now, Nancy, you say you want to read. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 I'm probably um, tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. is some um, tomorrow is my sixteenth birthday. Mm, it's a special yeah. birthday to work. Yeah. Going to have a family se ceremony. 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 I am yeah. probably going to get it's some really money in look some money in uh, a teacher okay. every lucky. In lucky envelopes. Envelopes. Lucky In envelopes, envelopes. From, envelopes. From my from relatives. From my relatives. Relatives. My mother, relatives. My mother is my going is to cook, cook noodles. 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 A long life. Noodles. 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 Uh -huh. noodles. Noodles are for a long life. For a long life. Okay. Estas son creencias, ¿verdad? que los videos son para una larga vida. Ok. Se celebra con, con videos, right? Ok. Ok. But now, Jan Chang is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. True or false? False. False. Why no. false? Why false? True. It's false. True. 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 It's false. Because you. Uh -huh. false. No, it's false. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. you, uh -huh. uh, no, her mother, her mother uh -huh. is uh -huh. cooking. Yes, cooks. her mother is gonna cook. Okay, her mother is gonna cook the noodles, not junking. Uh -huh. So no, it is. It is false. 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 Okay, but eso que acabamos de hacer ahorita es poner atención a los detalles. Esa es la estrategia que estamos desarrollando acá. Primero es encontrar que, que sí van a ver, que van a cocinar noodles, right? Aquí está, ese es el scanning. Y la, los detalles es que ahí dice que my mother is going to cook noodles. Entonces ese es el detalle de que no es ella. Y aquí en la oración dice, Yang Xing is going to cook, pero no es ella. Is the mother, right? Ahí estamos ya aplicando las dos estrategias de lectura, poner atención, a los de, poner atención a los detalles y buscar la información dentro del párrafo. ¿A dónde está la respuesta de esta pregunta? ¿De esta oración? Al final. Ah, entonces vamos a, a hacer, hacemos el, hacemos el scan Ajá, y vemos que al final encontramos la respuesta. Es el scan. Ajá. Teacher que dijo que era Nurol. Fideos. En es Ajá. Esos son los, los, okay. los, los macarroncitos que usamos ahí, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Now let's see the third one. Now we have, ok, Mr. and Mrs. Aoki Kyoto. Ok. My husband. ¿Qué me leer? Yo, yo, teacher. Ojalá que no se me vaya el inter porque me está dando problemas, pero vamos a ver. Ok, go, go, go. My husband is gonna be 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Konreki. It's the beginning of a need life. The color red represents a need life. So children... Often give some time read as a present. What are our children gonna give him a red hat and vest? And vest. Okay, here. Uh, so children often give something, something red as a present. Okay. 
something. Okay, very good. Nice pronunciation. Good. Now, questions? No. Okay. Yes, can Reiki. Yeah? Can Reiki. Uh huh. Can Reiki is the beginning of a new life. Es, eh, es el, el inicio de una nueva vida. Can Reiki uh. es como en japonés, creo que en japonés. Se dice Can Reiki es the beginning of a new life. A los 60 dicen que comienzan ya una nueva vida. Okay. Ya la bajada, teacher. <laughs> Por eso la segunda. <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> es el segundo aire, right? So, uh, okay. right? Yes, the next one. Okay, good. <laughs> nice. Now, let's see. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True or false? It's true. It's true. true. Okay. Es el, ¿A dónde está esa respuesta? Where um, is this? Um, um, <laughs> she 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 something at the present. Uh -huh. The sick line. Yes, right. The, the sick children, line. Uh -huh. They say children give something red as a present. As okay, a present. Good. And what is he going to receive? What is he going to receive? A red hat. A, uh -huh, a red hat. And vest, okay, a red hat. Ahí encontramos detalles, right? Red red. What is it? A red hat. That more specific, okay, more specific. So it is true. True. Yes? Okay. And the last one? True. You're a teacher. Who? Grisela, yes? Yeah. Sí. Okay, yes. Good. All right. Oops, sorry, Grisela. Here. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna to be 30 next week. So I'm gonna invite three very good friends out to dinner in France. Uh, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out uh, in some countries. I know it's the opposite. 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 People take you, take you out. Take you out. Okay, good. So this is in French, right? I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite. So this is the opposite in France. All right. How about you? Okay. Now, Philip's friend are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. True or false? It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false, okay? He, he is going to invite them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. They say you often invite people. If the opposite people take people uh, take you out, that's another answer. So it is false. Okay. Now let's show answers. Four correct. Three is correct. Mm -hmm. Number two is correct. And number one is correct. Okay, so we have a. Are going to are gonna take him out to dinner on his birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is false. So we have ten, thirty-four points out of thirty-four points. Okay. Now you see this is a uh, the two uh, the two skills. Where you practice a scan and remember, a scan is como escanear, buscar, buscar eh, información específica. And details is como saber exactamente de qué estamos hablando. Okay. Por ejemplo, acá, en la última dice, Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. La información está aquí. Cuando él dice, eh, I'm going to invite three. I'm going to invite. Es él, no ellos, right? And aquí ya da la información y aquí hay más detalles. I know, eh, say, when you have birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know is the opposite. People take you out. For example, in El Salvador, people take you out when it's your birthday, right? 
you don't invite people to your birthday, okay? They invite you. They take you to dinner, they take you to a restaurant or to other places. Okay? Now, that's the, the end of section one. Okay, y ahí terminamos con lo que era going to, what are you gonna do, celebrations, birthdays, parties, and that's it, right? No se les olvide llenar la, la plataforma de la sección 1, okay? Todos los ejercicios para que vayan ya completándola y vayamos avanzando. Okay, the next one. Yes, the next one. Eh, Noemi. Noemi. Would you, you yes? Would you read? Would you read the objective here, please? By the by, end. The, by the end of the class, you will read vocabulary for discuss discussing part on the body. Parts of the body. Okay. So then, this unit. Now we're going to reinforce what vocabulary. The parts of the body. Okay, now listen. Hi everyone, in this class we're going to learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Tooth. Teeth. Skin. Back. Shoulder. Leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by moving to your head and expressing this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay. Okay, I will show you another video. This one, you know, you have the pronunciation and ideas, but here, can you see this one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No. You don't see the no. It? no. Head. Okay. Head. Head. Okay. Eh, apaguen sus micrófonos, escuchemos y luego en la siguiente vamos a vamos a ir practicando con con las eh, con la pronunciación. Okay. Now listen. Head. 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 Forehead. 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 Hair. Hair. Eye. 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 Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Eyelash. Eyelash. Eyelid. Eyelid. No. No. Cheek. Cheek. Chin, chin, ear, ear, jaw, jaw, mouth, mouth, lips, lips, teeth, teeth, gum, <coughs> gum. 
हाँ हाँ Shoulder, shoulder, armpit or underarm, underarm. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, wrist, wrist, palm. Palm. Fingers. Fingers. Index finger. Index finger. Middle finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Little finger. Or pinky. Little finger. Pinky. Thumb. Thumb, fingernail, fingernail, knuckles, knuckles, stomach, stomach, belly button, belly button, hip, hip, waist, waist, leg. Leg, thigh, thigh, knee, knee, pay a silent, knee, shin, shin, calf, calf, foot, foot, ankle. Ankle, heel, heel, toes, toes. Now it's your turn. Okay, so here we have, for example, the the what we had before. Now we have here the parts of the body, right? So what is what you see here? What is this? Face. What is this? Hair. 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 Okay. Hair. 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 This one? Hair. 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 Okay. Hair. Hair. Forehead. 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 Eyes. 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 Mm-hmm. Finger. Finger nail. Finger nail. Okay, the nail. Finger nail. Here you have the nail. Finger nail. The nail. Finger. 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 A little finger. Yeah, the little finger. Finger. Meñique, meñique, right? Little chiquito, okay? Meñique. Okay. Um, uh, under, 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 Arm, arm, under arm, okay. Under arm. Yes. Arm pit. Under arm. Uh huh. It's so much. 
stomach. Okay, stomach. 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 Como una ca. Stomach. 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 Okay. Stomach. 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 This one is? Middle finger. Middle finger. The middle finger, finger. Middle finger, finger. is the middle medio. Middle, middle, middle finger. 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 Middle finger. Yes, middle medio, finger. right? Middle finger. This one is? Ring finger. Ring, ring finger. finger. The ring. It's el anular, right? Ring finger. Donde usamos el anillo. Ring finger. Ring finger. Yes, sir? Knuckles. Knuckles. Um, knuckles. Nudillos. Knuckles. Knuckles. Um, knuckles. Knuckles. Los nudillos, right? Knuckles. Knuckles. And. 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 This one? Um, elbow, 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 elbow. Okay. Elbow. People from Aguachapan, no? No. Elbow. Huh? Elbow. <laughs> no, no, hay, no hay nadie de Aguachapan aquí. Sí, sí, los los Aguachapanecos tienen fama de ser elbows, codos, right? No. Ah, bueno. Sí. No, pero yo no sé, yo no sé, yo estoy preocupado. Lo que dicen, probando. Puede ser que sea cierto, como puede ser una gran mentira, right? I don't, I don't know. Ok, pero dices elbow. 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 Chin. 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 Chin iPhone, I bro, I live, I live, I live, I eyelash, eyelash. Okay, you have eyebrow. Es la segunda. I live, I live, parpado, parpado, eyelashes, eyelash, I live. All right, good. Eyelash. These are. Teeth. 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 Ankle. 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 That one? Leg. Leg. Call. Leg. Leg. Thigh. Leg. Ah, thigh. Thigh. Thigh is the, this is the mus, muslo. Ah. Okay. Thigh. Thigh, muslo. Right thigh. 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 Chip. Oh, the joke. Ah, yeah. Yeah. La mandíbula, right? No son los cachetitos todavía, right? Chicks. Son las mejillas. Chicks. But this one here también es la joke, es la mandíbula. Okay. Mandíbula. Yes. This one? Leg. 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 Desde acá, desde acá de la ingle hasta acá, legs. 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 Belly button. Belly button. Belly button. Uh huh. Belly button. Belly button. Thumb. Thumb. Uh huh. Like. Thumb. Like. Like. Thumbs up. Right. Thumbs up. Thumb. 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 Lips. This one? Gum. Gum. Lips. Lips. No. The gum. 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 Te gum. Teeth. This is the teeth and this is the gum. These are uh -huh. the lips. These are the lips. Gum. 
Dumb. 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 Son las encillas, right? Encillas, like the chewing yes. gum. Like the chewing gum. Mm. Index finger. Index, Index finger. finger. Index finger. Okay, so some chicks. Mm -hmm. Then I had the chick. Okay, chick. Okay. That is? Palm. 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 Palm of the hand. This is the? Waist. Cintura. The waist. Uh -huh, the waist. La cintura, waist. Mm -hmm. Waist. Waist. Tanga. Tongue. 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 And this one? Waist. Waist. Oh. Hip. Hip. No. Hip. Más abajo está la cintura, right? Hip. Ya son caderas. La cadera. Cadera. Esa es la palabra. Hip. Cadera. Cadera. Hip. Hip. Tie. Foot. 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 Knee. 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 Right. Rodilla. Knee. Chin. And this is the chin. 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 Uh, questions. Uh huh. Uh, con food is uh, singular and feet is plural. Yes. Well, it's cierto? Food uh, is only one. Put singular, okay. only one. Okay, uh, thank you. Here, it's put. Shing. Okay, shing is this part, right? Chimpinia. Uh, <laughs> some people say chimpinia, other people say espinilla. Uh, si ven en las, en los, van a las tiendas deportivas, van a ver unas, unos eh, implementos para futbolistas que se llaman shing guards. Son como las espinilleras, right? Chimpinilleras. 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 And then, then you call it a shing guard. No shing guards, right? Shing guards. Separados. Shing guards. Okay? Shing guards. Shing guards. Okay? Be careful. Okay, be careful. This is the calf. The calf. Es la pantorrilla. Ok, aquí estamos viendo singulares. Este, alguien preguntó acá. Y sí, todas estas son singulares. Okay? Calf es la pantorrilla. Shin es la parte de enfrente. Knee. Ankle. Foot. Y aquí tenemos toes. Todos los dedos. Toes. Yeah, heel, talon. Here you have toes, toes. Okay, in the, in the hand, in the hand we have fingers. Okay, we have fingers. Lips. And in the foot we have toes. Lips. 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 Tongue. Tongue. Mouth. Mouth. Oh, the mouth. 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 Shoulder. 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 Chest. 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 Okay, for men is chest and for women is breast. 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 Okay? Breast. Chest and breast. Neck. 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 Cuello. Ajá, el cuello. Nuca. Ok. ¿Cuál es que dicen? Va en la neck. Ajá, está bien el bicho. Ajá, on the neck. Le dieron on the neck. So this is the neck. All right. So this is the cuello, right? Good. No problem. So far, this is, okay, the important thing here is to memorize this vocabulary, right? Like, 
like the recommendation we have in the video about the parts of the body. Okay, this one. Okay, good. Now, for example, and this is what we're going to practice, right? Look at this one here. Okay, we have <clears throat> parts of the body. Okay, for example, you can say this. This is my head. Porque solo hay una, ¿verdad? Singular. But si tenemos dos manos, this, this is are my hands. hands. This yes. Are, this, are, uh -huh. this, this is my mm. elbow. This is my okay. elbow. 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 This is my elbow. Look at me in the pic in the camera. This is my elbow. Only one. Mm. Okay. But if I use both. This. Eh, pero en este caso serían dos, dos. Uh, no, uh -huh. codos. I, I'm showing you one, right? And if I use the two, these are my elbows, okay? Okay, you're using two. Okay, this is my elbow. left elbow. Mm -hmm. Mi codo izquierdo. Eh, uh -huh. Recuerde que es importante que se utilice así porque a veces si usted se rascó por teléfono, le dice a alguien que a alguien que le tenga, mira, me raspé el codo, ¿cuál? Ah, ok, my mm -hmm. left, left elbow. Ah, ok, good. Mm -hmm. yeah, ¿Qué hago? Right? Then the doctor can give you some instructions, right? Ah, pues se puede curar. No, porque soy zurdo también. <laughs> Está, va a estar más complicado, pero, right? But it's important to know left and right, right? If I left handed, Oh, left-handed is zurdo, just in case you want to know, right? So, left-handed. Eh, otro que sea singular, oh, this is my nose, okay? This is my nose, okay? Right? These are my beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. Ustedes no los pueden ver por la cámara, pero son azules. Okay. Okay. Un día te voy a acercar bien encima. Ok. So these are my beautiful blue eyes. Aquí podemos poner hasta adjetivos, man. right? I can use that one. Y ahí podemos usar la creatividad y hacer las oraciones que quieran. Right? Ok, les dejo esta idea. con foot. Ajá. Foot, ok. Con foot, foot, porque está foot, está pit, yes, es my... está tú. Tus también, vea. Ah. Y. Podemos cambiar el my por el your también. Estos son tus pies, no los míos. Your feet. Uh -huh, your feet. Ok, estos son tus pies, right? Your feet. Entonces, acá también tenemos eh, plurales como. Tooth, de pie. tooth mm. solo es uno. Okay. Y tenemos eh, sí, teeth. Teeth. Ah, la singular uh -huh. plural. Okay. Entonces, es otra que pueden utilizar también. Eh, fingers, recuerden que tenemos fingers in the hand. Uh -huh. Fingers, but en, el, en los pies tenemos True. toes. 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 Uh -huh. Toes. Okay, so look here, we're saying singular finger, and you can also use toe. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué otra duda pueden tener así que les pueda surgir con las palabras del mouth, lips, cheeks? Ah, bueno, está chin, chin. Esta es otra por la estructura. Es chin, que es la barbilla o el mentón. Y está el chain, la chimpinilla, right? La S cambia, look. Esta es la, la del pie, la de la pierna. Y esta es en la cara, en el rostro. Chain. 
Ching and Shing. Okay, yes, Shh. Yes, yes, Ching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's say Shing. Okay. Teacher, yeah. he. Uh huh. Mejia. And? Jung. Jung. Mejia. Ah, Mejia. No. Mejia is chick. Okay. Joe. Ah, hey, Joe. Ah, Joe, que dijimos que era la mandíbula. Eh? Mandíbula. Uh -huh. Yes, Joe. Okay. Va, con esto. Ah, y... le voy a dar el. Eh, ahorita podemos también pueden tener este link para que repasen. Ay, este eso le iba a decir. Este mismo vocabulario. Este mismo vocabulario. O sea, pueden encontrar muchos ahí, pero para que ya tengamos esta misma línea. Pueden, se los pongo ahorita en el chat para que lo copien. Sí, porque allí había más palabras de las Ajá, que había. Sí, sí, sí. Y con todas esas pueden hacer oraciones, así como yo las he puesto acá, en el mismo chat. Y ahí las, voy, ahí las vamos viendo. Ok. There we go. Solo voy a submit. Va. Ahí ya las pueden estar viendo. Ok. Porque eso no es de ahorita que ya la van a aprender, sino que tienen que estarla repasando. Y ahí en el video ese está la pronunciación también. ¿Okay? Y también tienen el que está aquí en la plataforma, que es corte todo, pero bueno, también lo pueden. Pero lo compartió no en el grupo del WhatsApp. ¿Perdón? Lo compartió no en el grupo del no, WhatsApp. No, aquí en el, en el chat que está ahorita aquí. Ahorita aquí, ahí lo pueden copiar de una vez. Ok. ¿Está? Ajá. Más sí, ya lo tienen. Ajá. Fíjese que yo tengo duda con la pronunciación de estómago, porque Ajá. yo he escuchado que dice stomach, pero Ajá. ahora oí diferente. Sí, es, es, es stomach, Ajá, con, Ajá. K. con K. Ah, eh, stomach. Cuando, Ajá, stomach. Eh, cuando incluso se usa stomach ache, stomach ache es el dolor, ache. Ajá. Stomach ache. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Then, now uh, let's see, let's, uh, okay, aquí continúa la práctica de esos, de esos vocabulary, but now, uh, let me see, uh, Tatiana, can you read this uh, objective here, please? Listen, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have Plus num um, feel plus object feel plus object to ex to express health problem. Mm -hmm. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrator how illustrate. this topic illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, good. Pero les decía, right, que saber usar el vocabulario a la hora de hablar de los problemas de salud del cuerpo es importante, right? So here we have, and let's listen to this. Hi everyone, in this class you learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache, I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. C 
Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Okay. So you can see here, for example, that this is when you express a problem that you have or you express also how you feel, right? For example, I feel, how do you feel in this moment? I feel fine. I feel fine, okay, so that means no problem. Thank God, right? Gracias a Dios, thank God, I feel fine. Good, uh, anybody else? I feel fine. For example, you can say, I feel, I feel tired, okay? You can say, I feel tired. Eh, me siento cansado, right? Say, I, I feel tired. Okay, this is how you feel. I feel what? Sad. I feel sad. I feel depressed. Okay. I feel hungry. I feel hungry. <laughs> okay. Yes, it can be I feel hungry. Okay. Then you see this are how you feel. Okay. I have a headache. I feel hungry. You feel hungry. Okay, good. And I feel I feel happy because it's Friday. Okay. I feel happy. I don't feel well. I don't feel well, very good. Uh -huh. Negative, I don't feel well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I have a backache on the other side, right? I have a backache. So I, I have a, a pain in the neck. Okay, I have a pain in the neck, un dolor en el cuello, right? I have a sore, a sore throat, dolor de garganta, okay? So, Practiquen este vocabulario, ok, con lo que hemos dejado del cuerpo y esto. Y el lunes 10 que regresemos, vamos a hacer 
les voy a traer otras, otro vocabulario de cómo practicar. O ahí les voy a estar en el chat, les voy a poner algunos en la semana. No para tenerlos trabajando, no que solo para que lo vayan viendo ahí de cómo poderlo trabajar. Eh, vocabulario para, porque este vocabulario es bien extenso. Y en una hora es casi que imposible poder mu ver mucho de eso. Pero poquito a poco vamos a irles dando para que tengan, por ejemplo, sore and pain. Hey, hay tres palabras para hablar de dolor. Sore, pain, and ache. Todas significan dolor, pero se usan en diferentes formas. Por ejemplo, sore throat, dolor de garganta. Eh, headache, ache, dolor de cabeza. Y podemos tener, por ejemplo, a pain in my neck. Un dolor aquí en el cuello. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso les voy a mandar información para que, para que avance, más, ¿no? Para que cuando regresemos el lunes 10, la estudiamos. Ok, everybody. It was a pleasure this week. Nice week. Bien productiva. Los felicito. Los animo a que no dejen atrás la, la plataforma. Si pueden adelantar, adelante. Chequen el vocabulario. Y no se me queden atrás, ¿ok? Que tenemos que seguir en el siguiente nivel para estar ahí por lo menos todos juntos. ¿Ok? Que mm. nadie se quede atrás. All right. Ok. Ok, okay. people. Disfruten sus vacaciones. <risa> eh, ok, enjoy. En casita. <risa> en casita, pero segurito. ¿verdad? <risa> ok. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.